Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. I'm so glad you stopped by. You got here just in time. We're leaving Bottomless Lakes State Park, New Mexico. And we're headed. I don't know if you can see it. We're headed to the mountains. That's right. We're going to the mountains. Been a long time since Dude RV went to the mountains. Let's go. Likely the light of mine will burn out In the mountains where I spent my rambling years I paid my sins from the poor traveling days Oh Lord, please, can't you hear my prayers? So I rode my body up the mountain To a place where I can sit my rocking chair I rode my body up the mountain to Manzano Mountains State Park in New Mexico. And we are in site number six. We're 7,000, just over 7,000 feet. Let's check out the site. We've got a picnic table on a concrete pad and a steak cooker. It's kind of a weird layout, but it has pine trees, it has elevation. We're not gonna need an air conditioner, but we have 50 and 30 amp in the pedestal. The water's right in front of the site. It's, it's not a water site. There's community water. But I did fill up before we rolled out this morning. Patio faces the road. It's a little backwards, but we do have a place to burn some wood. And the fire danger, I think, is low. So, so maybe we'll have a fire this evening. We're only here for the one night. So I'm going to eat some lunch and deploy some wheels. And we'll go see the stuff. This is a pretty, pretty little park. Let's go check out the group site. I must say, the roads to get here, that was brutal. I'll never complain about Texas roads again. It's pretty cool. If you got a group of people that want to meet in the mountains, pretty nice. There's a big sign over here. Uh, Let's go see what it says. Need I say more? We'll spank you if you have more than 50 people. Yappy, what do you think about this campground? I love it. Beautiful. 
worth the rough roads yes to get here it was it's beautiful and the dogs like it too and what were you saying about bears uh we are in bear country they did i saw some notices gotta be bear aware be careful keep your trash out of the way all right i'm gonna we gotta go do a, a shower check did you go to the restroom no it's a vent toilet vault vault i mean we'll go check it out we've determined that there are no showers vault toilets only but they're clean vault toilets there's an office but that seems to be closed as well right next to the handicap site so sorry we are closed that's all right we we travel with water and sewer with us anyway in case you're wondering these are ponderosa pines and that's an alligator juniper according to that sign right there and then some kind of oak tree they didn't tell us they didn't tell us what kind of oak tree it is so you'll be happy to know there is a dump station it says do not drink the water at the dump station I can't believe they have to <laughs> they have to tell you don't drink the water at the dump station there it looks like they've got a camp host opportunity available for the a, a rare thing for us to see another thor super c in a campground site number nine of course this guy fires up his loud truck and just as i push record it's not very big van kind of site but what caught my attention there's several sites out here that have got the partial shelter i think this is really cool you don't see this too often so if you've got a blustery day you can get out of the weather it is ziva approved we even have some firewood left behind mm -hmm. <laughs> absolutely we're gonna harvest some firewood that somebody left manzano mountain state park doesn't have a whole lot of stuff for the kiddos to do but there are horseshoe pitches there's actually a couple of horseshoes. We're missing one. Oh, there it is. So there's three shoes. Well, there's there's two pitches, but only three shoes. Maybe you can check it out in the office or something. I don't know. I think I need to do a little hike. The Manzano Mountains State Park nature trail it says it's an easy walking self-guided half mile long trail
we were walking the dogs. It's it's after hours. We're chilling. Anyway, Yappy and I were walking the ratty pack, and uh, there was a van that rolled in not too long ago, and uh, they have got the coolest thing. You got to see this. If you have dogs and you travel in the RV, you know one of your biggest challenges is the the canine enclosure. This guy's come up with a genius solution to the issue. We did a lot of showing and confirmation, and we needed rain gates so that we could put on shows for Australian Shepherds. And so I told him that I would get him a drill press if he would make me the ring gates. Okay. And so that's how it got started. And then, of course, we had teenage children at the time, so we made them work for us. <laughs> You're so smart! Just like my parents were. <laughs> Every project you need a new tool, you know. That's right. <laughs> so it's teenage kids and a drill press and it We did was an made. assembly line. Yes. Okay. Someone cut certain lengths of pipe, which is a hacksaw. Some of them cut the feet. Some of them glued the elbows on there. You know, everyone had a job to do and within a weekend we made fifty of these things. We made enough for a 50 square foot ring gate. Wow. For our national competition. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bolts and nuts are male, female bolts that you can get at uh, Fasten All. You know? Okay. Aluminum. The, the, I'm familiar with that. So you've got the, the nut them. side. Yeah. Put Loctite on it. Yeah. And what was the dimension? Uh, you'd have you to measure it to spend so long. Okay, I didn't, I didn't. we can figure like, that out. Yeah, there's like three dimensions. There's one, like, two, three. Three dimensions. One, two, three, four. Four dimensions. It's been so long since I made these. <coughs> and the only thing that comes off for storage is the feet. Yeah. The feet pop off for the storage. Yes. Yeah. They just twist. Okay. Just like that. And that just accordions down. Accordions down and just sits on top of the stowaway. And that's 12 inches, thereabouts. Thereabouts? Yeah, 12 inches by one inch. Yeah. That'll fit just about any Anywhere. storage <laughs> compartment. Yes. Anywhere. Yeah. And that stretches out to, what, we're about Whatever you seven want. feet, but Depends you could. Depends on how low or tall you want it. And so for our, my ratty packs that can jump pretty high, that's an ideal height. Yeah, but then you've got the well, then you get the, the under. Bottom. So it works for our size dogs. Yeah, you can we can fix it for ours. And they don't they're older now, so they don't run off. Yes. Th that could we could put a like some black mesh or some type of screening on there. Yes, you could. That that would yeah, that, we get that would work with uh, the keep the little side. dogs from getting out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See with the uh fifth wheel in the class A, you have those drop down steps and all that mm, stuff. Yep. And I had one of these. I, no, I sold it. I actually cut it down about so, so far. To go, so to go, go under, under the, the edge of the trailer. Yeah. yeah. Because you know, dogs, they look under there. You know? Yeah, we, we, had a, we had a squirrel, they take off. They, they just. There's <laughs> nothing intimidating about going under that vehicle yeah. for us. And if you carry all of yours, which is enough to run the full length of the van, I kept yeah. four. We had so much more. The neighbor in Myrtle Beach, I sold him six of them what we, before we moved here. And they love them. <laughs> yeah. And you put it all I on all the bicycle on the rack. bike rack. Genius. Yeah. yeah. We put the rug on the bike rack. I stack those on top of it. Strap them down. I'm good to go. That's awesome. And then, of course, you know, we have to store away everything else. Aren't you glad you watched this video? <laughs> good morning from, where are we? Oh, Manzano Mountains State Park. Gotta sweat bee. Little bee flying around me. What a beautiful morning. People are still asleep, so I don't wanna I don't wanna be too gregarious. So our site turned out to be the social site for Manzano Mountains State Park. It was right there on the curve. So everybody in the campground that was out walking last night 
stop to talk to us. That was great because we get to meet a lot of neat people from all over the place too. And the one, and, and so you, you, you saw that, that folding gate set up. That was just so fascinating. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna pursue that. Of course, that'll be a video for <laughs> much later. That's down on the bottom of my list right now. But we're not here to talk about gates. We're here to talk about Manzano Mountain State Park. It's so quiet here when your fellow campers are not making or playing music. So last night we got serenaded by every, I got to listen to every Stevie Nicks song ever <laughs> for hours and hours over and over. Don't get me wrong, I think Stevie Nicks is a, is a fantastic artist, but when you hear the same song over and over for hours on end, it gets kind of old. Just saying. But anyway, we really like this campground. This is one of the best campgrounds we've been in for a while. Now, granted, the site could, I would be happier in a different site than where we are, but for just a waypoint stop, yeah, that turned out to be perfect. Bit rough getting here. So if you're gonna if you're gonna use this and you're coming from the southeast as we did, uh, you're better off going into mountain air to come up versus taking the the county roads because those were so rough. I'll never complain about rough Texas roads again because we've added a whole new meaning to the word rough road on this journey, yesterday's drive. So there's not a whole lot of stuff here at Manzano Mountain State Park, but that's kind of the charm. Now, according to the, the locals that are camped across the street from us, it's kind of difficult to get in here during the warmer, during the summer, when it's warmer. I don't think that should stop you from trying to get in here. Now, he was telling me that there's a forest service campground Red Canyon or something like that, not too far from here. And I looked at that. Uh, you're limited to 20-foot RVs or less, and it's primitive. I don't even think they have developed sites. So if you need a, a level site like we do, then this is going to be your better option for right here in the, this area of New Mexico. But we're done. We really enjoyed our afternoon and evening here. I slept like a baby, but the altitude seems to be giving Yappy a bit of a headache. And it could be the dry air, because the air is pretty dang dry. And it's chilly this morning. I had to put on a jacket. I'm thinking about finding my wool socks. Not complaining. After camping in the 110, 115 degree heat at, at Dillo Day or at Buzzard Days. This is a very refreshing campground, campsite adventure. It's a very refreshing adventure. So we're, we're done here. We're going to pack it up. We're going to get on the road. We're going to continue our journey west to an Arizona state park right outside of Winslow, Arizona. And we won't be standing on the corner. We'll be too tired by the time we get there. Uh, I think it's pronounced Homolovi, Homolovi, H-M-O, Homo, L-O-V-I, Homolovi. I don't know. I have to find a local to tell me how to pronounce it. That'll be next week. But for now, we're done. If you found some value or some entertainment out of this video, please. Click on that thumbs up and blast me out across your social media. If this is your first visit to the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm, so they say. For those of you who have been following along, <laughs> thank you. I would not be here if it was not for you, so thank you for that opportunity. 
and for my patrons. We're so grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?